We were very fortunate to get uh, Newbin there, uh, a guy that we spent a lot of time with. You know, he had an injury. We went out to his pro day when he was healthy to, to see him out there. And obviously, you know, losing an X in the off season uh, to get Newbin at that that value, a guy with high character, um, leadership, smart, tough, dependable, and then the 13 career interceptions and just a good football player, uh, culture changer at the University of Minnesota, and he's going to bring that. Uh, type of mentality here and I think that'll come out tomorrow when you guys meet with him and spend some time with him just a really special kid that's a good football player seems like a bunch of teams that traded up to get corners yeah right. yeah yeah um, there were for you? yeah we, there were enough players there that we liked um, and where we are and again we, we, we have needs throughout the draft and we were able to get a corner in uh, you know round three that you know that we're excited about as well and, and Phillips he was the top safety taken in this draft the first safety what separated him from some of the other guys yeah, I, I would say that he takes the ball away. It, it, you know, the 13 career interceptions. You know, he's a ball hawk, and to me, again, the you know the the leadership, the character, the smarts. You know, safety, the ability to communicate out there, get guys lined up. Um, I think is very important, and this kid's elite at those type of things. Yeah, you mentioned the 13 interceptions a couple times. Phillips had zero interceptions, yeah. which stands out on the other end. Why right. is that not a concern? What what does he do well to make up for? That? Yeah, no, it is. And and some of these guys that are five eleven, two hundred, and run four four would be playing receivers if they had really good ball skills, unfortunately. But uh no, I mean he he's sticky, he's in coverage, he he's around the football a lot and um watching him down the senior bowl in one on ones, he he's got a lot of traits and those are things that we're gonna, you know, obviously work on and um he's in position, he's just gotta finish a little bit better. But really like the athlete, like the kid and uh Look forward to him getting here. Told Wandell he's got to be ready for practice because uh, Drew said he was going to be locking him up. So uh, that'll be a good competition there. View him as a, as a, a slot. slot. Yeah, runner. yeah. We're, we're, we're going to. He can play both. He's got versatility to play inside, outside. But um, you know, we got options because Flock can play inside, outside as well. So you know, if he goes inside, Flock can go outside, or vice versa. So you know, the versatility is you know also attractive. For, you know, for all these guys with the new defense. But it sounds like he'll be start wouldn't be the right to begin with him in the slot. Most likely, I'm going to leave that up to Dave's and his staff. But um, you know, again, that we got options with with him being able to play both and with Flot being able to do both. So, sort of the opposite with Flot, like you plan to start him on the outside. Yeah, I would say it's you know we just drafted this young man, so we'll we'll figure all that stuff out when we get into to practice. We'll be able to play uh, both those guys at different spots and you know see how it all unfolds. So I think coming into the draft, cornerback and safety would have been looked at as two of your bigger needs. Taking these guys, does that preclude you from still adding in free agency after the draft? Like, is that no, no, we still can. I mean, I still think, you know, continue to add depth throughout the roster is important. And, you know, again, there was – when we picked in the second, there was – I mean, gosh, there were probably – five or six players that we liked and you know guy goes and you get you can't take them all unfortunately uh I, I wish we could but we were able to get a good football player and you know that's the most important thing and you know we're excited about you know Newbin. four years ago this franchise not you drafted um, xavier um, in the second round you know is this in your sense almost kind of getting a younger cheaper version of him or you know or just the position value kind of thing Younger and cheaper, yes. <laughs> uh, this young man hasn't played a, a snap in the, the league yet, so he'll come here, he'll compete. You know, we still have um, some guys in the safety room that we that we like, and he'll have to come and earn his spot. But we we like the young man. He's a good football player, and again, he's he's got a lot of dominant traits. You know, in in his play. Was there any consideration to quarterback in round two or three? Uh, we we took the best player. You know, at both spots. So the, the way it fell. Um, the two guys we took were the best guys at that time. Joe, with uh, Newbin said that you know, he played most of the year, or at least six games with the meniscus. You mentioned last night how you like the toughness of neighbors with the shoulder. Yeah. I don't want to say that's a trend, but that kind of toughness for you, what, what did that mean to both of you guys? Well, I, I'd say the, the college scouts, Joe, his staff have done a – a really good job of identifying these traits that we covet, uh, toughness being probably near the top. Um, and all three of the players that we've acquired so far really fit that mold in terms of, you know, I'd say mentally tough and physically tough. And I think that's important. Um, you know, defensively, tough tacklers. Um, you know, Drew, he's, he's, he'll bring the wood now. Um, and, you know, Malik's mentality, how he is, and then, you, you know, you guys are 
talk to Tyler. He's, you know, both Tyler and Drew, they were, they were, they were pretty emotional when we called them. And they care about the game. Um, they have the right mindset. And it's a credit to, you know, our college scouts, uh, Joe, his staff, of, of really identifying some of those traits. Um, and we're happy to have both of them. Joe, there was a burglary arrest in Phillips' background that got dismissed. And I think they, with teammates, I think they even filed a lawsuit afterwards. What did you learn about that in your research? Yeah, he's there's nothing there for him. Yeah, I mean, you guys can read up on it, but he he was cleared, and yeah, there was a, a lawsuit eventually after that. So yeah, we're, yeah, we're good with we're good with all that. Do you think the the knee during the season maybe slow down and change maybe how Newman played? That maybe if he was 100 percent healthy, yeah, I'm sure it. On boards? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm sure it was bothering him at, at some point during the season, but again, that's that's the way the kid's wired. And you had the the question about the injury, and you know, again, it's a long season, 17 games in training camp, and these guys are all playing through nicks and dings and whatever it may be. So it's a it's a testament to the kid's character and toughness to play through that stuff because it's going to happen here. And it wasn't a you know a, a light injury. I mean, he was he was in some pain. So just the fact that he wanted to be out there his last year at Minnesota and not let his teammates down and. You know, I think that's a testament to the, to who the kid is. Brian, um, you have a new defensive coordinator. How yeah. much is his vision for what he wants um, manifest in these two players? Yeah, well, I'd say that <clears throat> Shane's done a really good job, along with the defensive staff, of and identifying the players that that fit what we want to do. Uh, communicating with Joe and his staff, and and like I said, they've done a great job of of putting people out there that that we think can help us. You know, on both sides of the ball. So, Joe, from a Scouting perspective, was there anything different you were kind of looking for for secondary players and these guys with Shane and, and the new defense? You know, maybe yeah, I would say that. Ball or, you know, yeah. obviously there's going to be less man probably a little bit. Yeah, probably less man, not as much press. But uh, still the versatility piece I think came up multiple times, whether it was, you know, if we wouldn't have got a corner in the third, just, you know, okay, well, Dane Belton has versatility. Jay Penn, Tyler, like how can those guys play? Isaiah Simmons. So the versatility in the chess pieces, I think um, Shane's going to do a good job moving those guys around. So the versatility piece came up multiple times in our meetings. Joe, the Panthers traded up right in front of you in the second round for a running back. Do you mm -hmm. think they thought you were thinking running back there? I'm not sure. I'm really tight with Dan. Dan Morgan's one of my best friends in the world. We, we didn't we didn't talk much about that, so I'm not. They they called us as well, so it was like, hey, would you want to maybe move back? So I don't know if he just got antsy. Um, in some of those situations, it's not always just us. Maybe there's other teams trying to trade up trade up with the team in front of us. So you don't know when you when you find somebody you like and you want to go get them and they're within range. You know, you, you try to pull the trigger, but uh, I, I'm not sure if he thought we might do that or not. Were you contemplating running back at all today? And is it something you would like to fill at least at some point in this draft? Yeah, again, just the amount of needs uh, on the roster. We were looking across the board. And again, we were taking the best player available, you know, in the, uh, the first three days. And, and that'll shift, you know, maybe if there's a safety we like in the fourth round, maybe you look a different direction or, you know, if it's a reason, you know, maybe receiver. So it, it, you kind of adjust your board as you, based on who you've picked uh, before. So yeah, we, we won't rule that out. Didn't ask this last night, but does picking neighbors impact Darius's status at all? Obviously, he's in a little bit of unsettled spots. Does that make him more up to be traded? Or you... no? I mean, again, we've already paid a roster bonus. You know, it's uh, you know he had one that kicked in the fifth day of the league year, and you look at the the P five um, where that is, and it's you know you want to look at the production from last year to this year, and you take all those things into account, and um, you know us drafting Malik Neighbors doesn't affect you know where we are on that. Like Joe, what do you like about your defense now after the moves you've made? Yeah, I think, or I know, the players that are under contract for more than one year. So, again, Dexter's under contract, you know, his contract status, you know, Burns for five years, Kayvon for three, Aziz for another three, Tay Banks for four. You just got Newbin for for four years. So, you've got a young core group of players that will be able to be together for, and again, I know. People want instant gratification, but it takes time to build this. And then over time, you have guys that are able to create continuity because they play together year over year. And it was something we experienced in Buffalo. 
you know, by the time we left, some of those guys have been playing together for four years in the same exact scheme, same defense, and playing together. And I think that's important from a communication and just being on the same page when, um, you know, when you're playing as 111th and everybody knowing their job. So um, I'm excited about the young core that we have together and the guys that are under contract for multiple years. And, you know, even guys that may only have a year left that, you know, potentially we can extend down the road. But I do think we have pieces in place, um, you know, that I like that are going to be together for a couple of years here. Have you had any further clarification on Darren, whether he's coming back or? No, no nothing's changed there. Yeah, we're still giving him his, his space, and uh, you know, when when he's ready to make a decision, we'll you know we'll have those conversations.